What's going on everyone? Elijah with Aiden Pressure Washing. Brody is on vacation in Mexico starting today, so it's going to be me and Seth running on the crew. And uh, I'm going to try to get some uh, footage of just a, a day in the life of, of us. I think we've got three or four projects lined up today. Um, we're starting out with a wash of the vinyl siding on this home. And then we're moving on to some entryway cleanings. I don't know. You'll see. Anyways, I'll flip you around and show you what we're, what we're working with today. All right, so we're washing all this vinyl siding, lots of just kind of bugs and stuff, webs, and then of course underneath the deck, it gets pretty dirty, just collection area for all the dust. But we got like this. This is kind of the stuff we're dealing with today. So we'll get that nice and clean. We have 300 feet of hose pulled all the way around here. The Seth is currently soaping up right now. I don't know if you can see it. All that gunk running down. I'll zoom out maybe. My gloves will work. So soap up, rinse down of all this. Got the handy dandy remote downstream injector, so he's switched to water now. He's waiting for the soap to run out. We'll let it dwell for a couple minutes here and then we'll give her a good rinse down. Hmm. All right, just finishing up here. Got all that bug web and everything down. It's looking nice and clean. Take you to this corner. No more webbies. Everything looks good. Those vents, of course. They always stand out after you clean the house. There's nothing you can really do. You don't want to spray water into the vents. You're just shooting water into the attic area. It can cause lots of problems. So there's nothing really great there. Um, I guess let me know if you guys have any tips for those with all the dirt. Even if you were able to spray water into it, dirt just continues to pour out of them because that's how the house breathes through those vents. Got that... Uh, Back cleaned up, the other side's looking great. Getting hoses reeled up. Making sure gates are closed. So they got puppies. And we're on to the next one. All right, so we were working kind of out outside city limits in the country a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, if I can get you a good... So that is the TDS reading of the water that we were working with. 471. Comment down below what you guys typically see 
out of your spigots uh, in town or outside of town. We're gonna drain this tank here. Um, it's not that much better in town. I mean, we usually run the 270s, which is still pretty bad, pretty hard water. But uh, I just hate spraying that hard of water on houses. You get a lot of spotting. But that's also why we uh, why we also uh, added the exterior window cleaning service. 471. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Jeez. We're gonna drain her. All right. So for this job, another reason we didn't want to bring that hard water. We are going to be cleaning these couple neighbors back patio porches areas. You can see just a lot of dirt and they've got water spots up there. So we're going to do a quick scrub down and then rinse and then a, a microfiber towel dry to hopefully prevent some more of that water spotting. But uh, yeah, if you have really hard water then that Unfortunately, we'll just leave spots on these dark eaves. Which is something that seems like the builders have been trending towards is putting more and more of the dark eaves up. So, process here, we're gonna water, rinse everything, scrub with uh, the soap that we've got, rinse again, then a quick dry of the areas to hopefully help remove some of that water spotting and get all this dirt and dust off the siding. All right, last job for the day. We're gonna be doing some rust stain removal. Uh, so we've got a big rust stain from, I don't know, I guess where the downspout was running out onto the, onto the driveway. I'll flip you around and show you. Which, I'm not sure. It's a new newer house. And I wouldn't think that there would be much rust coming from the roof. So I'm not sure why it would leave standing like that. But today we're gonna to be trying out uh, F9 Bark. We've had some success with it in the past, so give her a shot and see, uh, see how she goes. First step is you pre-rinse the, uh, the concrete. We're gonna dry it off with a blower here, and uh, then we're going to apply our first round of Bark. Okay, so after it dried, there's our test spot again. Looks pretty good. Seth is being very careful around the grass, applying the first coat of bark. And we are doing it to the whole squares that we're treating. Um, otherwise, you can be left. This is a new driveway, so it wouldn't be quite as apparent. But if you were to do it, to the old old driveway you'd have a nice white spot so after the first application you are supposed to let it dry. So again, we'll use the blower to help the aid the drying process. Let it dry, and then we'll probably apply a thicker coat to the, uh, the stained areas. And we'll continue on. All right, here is the final result. I would say it got up about 90% of that rust stain or whatever we had going on. Up at the very top up here, it's still kind of drying out, a little darker. This is the darkest part. Um, it looks a little darker in the video than what it actually appears here. So I'm sure it'll lighten up a little bit more uh, tomorrow as the sun hits it. It is in the shade now, but this is, this is the worst area. Um, so it has still more of a shadow to it, but definitely, definitely got it up. Like I said, probably about 90%.
looks great down there you can definitely tell the squares even though this is new concrete the squares that we treated versus the squares we didn't and this all looks bright and new anyways but it really pops when you get that bark on there so overall i think we put three coats on and came out really good pleased with the result